so to we'll be doing oscillations guys so we just tried it we are able to use the complete screen i guess you can see bro if a spring has time period t and is cut into n equal parts then the time period of each part will be so there is a spring this is question number 1 we have just a second oscillations question number 1 so there is a spring of spring constant k so time period of this will be 2 pi root m by k so if you have a block here mass m if you just give it a small displacement that will execute shm of time period 2 pi root m by k now what we have done you have broken or made this spring into n parts you have broken this into n parts when you break the spring into n parts so we have something for spring constraint that is k into length is constant k into length of the spring is constant let the initial length be l so initially k not k not is the initial spring constant initial length is l is equal to now let this be k and the length is how much l by n you have made it into n parts for any spring k into l remains constant spring constant into length remains constant so k not into l not remains constant uh, so this l gets cancel right so new k is n times k not even if you break the spring you can observe this it becomes tougher for you the spring becomes stronger because the k is increasing when you cut the spring k will increase so we, if you kind of when you say parallel combination uh it is k1 plus k2 series combination k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 if you can remember for a parallel combination for a parallel combination k1 i'm just recapping everything right if you have parallel combination the equivalent k equivalent is k1 plus k2 and if you have series combination k1 and k2 in that case k equivalent is k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 my idea is not just i mean you know solving the question my idea is to recap the concept for you and you know refresh as much as possible so k becomes n k not so what happens to the new time so t dash is 2 pi root mass of the block is still the same k becomes n k not so this is nothing but let this be t not that is t not by root n t not by root n right so t by root n is the answer can take the screenshot for the question as well as the solution i am trying to do both parallelly here and there at the end of the session you will be getting the recording of the video as well as i am sharing the docs with the management people they will be routing it to you next one in a simple harmonic oscillator at the mean position can uh, there are the question so in general oscillations how that uh, oscillation happens right so we have spring block so this is the mean position now we have one extreme here amplitude a another extreme here amplitude a both will be equal so when the block comes here so here v is equal to maximum here amplitude so x is equal to amplitude here x is equal to zero here velocity becomes zero here velocity becomes zero and x is equal to minus a while going towards right velocity is positive while going towards right left velocity is negative so this spring block system right so we write force is minus kx this one is shm motion f is equal to minus kx or mass into acceleration is minus kx acceleration is equal to minus k by m into x so this k by m we replace as omega so minus omega square x is that clear so omega is how much under root uh, k by m so omega is nothing but 2 pi by t so time period becomes this comes here time goes there so time period is 2 pi under root m by k that is how we got for spring block system time period is 2 pi root m by k for a simple pendulum a time period is 2 pi root l by g this g is g effective that means if you are in a lift either g plus a or g minus a based on the uh, acceleration of the lift this is question number 2 okay now so that is simple oscillator kinetic energy is minimum at mean position at mean position 
kinetic energy is maximum potential energy is minimum so kinetic energy is maximum potential energy is minimum right at the main position if it is extreme position kinetic energy is minimum potential energy is maximum that is in the extreme position third one a child swinging on a swing in sitting position stands up in the time period of the swing will so what will happen to the time period of the swing so question number 3 right this is the swing this is you sitting down here your center of mass is here right so if this total length is l not time period is 2 pi root l not by g now you are standing up so when you are standing up this is your head like so your center of mass is somewhere here this is l dash when you stand up center of mass will be somewhere at the center so the effective length will decrease or not i can say l dash is less than l not so new time period t dash is 2 pi under root l dash by g now this is smaller than t or not because l dash is less than t not l dash is less than l not l dash is less than l not so t dash is less than t t dash is less than t so time period decreases time period will decrease when you stand up time period decreases means frequency is increasing so oscillations will be faster so when you are sitting in a uh, the swing you will be doing less oscillations per second when you stand you will be doing faster oscillations that means time period is decreasing agreed so time period decreases question number 3 in between i'll be checking your chat so that if you got any questions we'll be knowing that sir how can i get the record you guys anyone have the pdf of the questions so okay kiran while the class is happening you can take the screenshot of the class we cannot share the document i have shared with it the questions i cannot share the solutions i can share with you so questions you have to take the screenshot while the class is happening you can take the screenshot that's how you get the questions with you question paper pdf the same thing recordings again so you have to ask the manager they will be sending it to you it is under editing now so just follow the session as i already advised whatever chapter we are doing now follow the session take the screenshots of the questions and solutions once the session is over go through the notes again then go through your subject textbook or any referral book you got and do the questions in these uh, particular chapters right so these are the questions right yeah you will be getting from the management they will be posting that there is some whatsapp link they have posted long time back i guess you have to join that whatsapp link right so let us continue with this um, just follow the session take the screenshot as and when you can see the questions take the screenshot A mass m is suspended from a spring of negligible mass. Spring of negligible mass. Mass of the block is m. The spring is pulled a little and released so that the mass executes a certain of time period t. So when the block is mass m, time period is t. If the mass is increased by small m, so you are adding another m, the time period becomes phi t by three. What is the ratio of m by m? So what is he is asking? What is m by capital M? so i'll do this question question number 4 right now there is a block spring block let the spring constant be k mass of the block is m so time period how much 2 pi root m by k now what we have done we have added another mass on this small m abhi dono ko isab join kar diya what is the new time t dash is 2 pi under root m plus small m by k but what is said the time period becomes phi t by 3 the time period becomes phi t by 3 so it is phi t by 3 this is nothing but phi t by 3 so let us substitute this here 2 pi under root m plus m by k is equal to phi by 3 into 2 pi root capital m by k So two pi two pi gets cancelled, k k gets cancelled. If I square it, m plus small m is twenty five by nine capital M. I have squared it. No, if I cross multiply, nine capital M plus nine small m is twenty five capital M. 
9 capital M goes to the other side. 9 small m is 25 minus 9. 9 goes to the other side, so subtract 16 capital M. So small m by capital M is how much? 16 by 9. So small m is more than capital M. It is 16 and this is 9. So just writing something small m or something capital M doesn't make it bigger. The actual value makes it small or big. So small m by capital M is equal to 16 by 9. 16 by 9. So in between, I'll be asking whether you understood or not. If you can say yes or no, or if you want it to be repeated and all, you can say that. Right? So it will be easy for me to explain you again or recap again. Uh, Uday Kiran, thanks for sharing it. Yeah, Uday Kiran shared the link. So please do join if you got any doubts. Still did not get not in it. So please do get added into the recording. It will come from the clear everyone. Okay, Shiva Gaumati, Lakshana. Uh, just a second, sir. Uh, yeah. Students, the recordings will be uh, uploaded in the website in one in another one or two days. Okay, so we will be uh, putting the link in the uh, uh, chat box. Uh, so you at that time you can check the website. All the till date, all the recordings will be there. Just it will be in in a couple of in one or two days. We will be uh, sharing the recordings also. Wonderful, okay. wonderful. That's great. So guys, you got the answer. We'll be getting it in a day or two. So then to concentrate on the class, whatever is happening, you should not miss the present class. Right, great. So we understood till now. Next one, fifth question, two particles A and B of equal masses are suspended from two massless things. So we have two masses, equal masses. So let us see, uh, spring and mass M, another spring mass M. Spring constant K1 and K2. The maximum velocity during oscillations are equal. So here V1 maximum is saying is equal to V2 maximum are equal. Then the ratio of amplitudes. So he's asking if the amplitude of this is A1, amplitude of this is A2. He's asking what is A1 is to A2. That is what he's asking no? or A1 by A2 or A1 divided by A2. This is the question. Right now, what is V maximum? V max is equal to A omega, or generally V V is equal to omega into root of A square minus X square. This is the formula of the velocity. Omega into root of A square minus X square. And acceleration is equal to minus uh, omega X. We already know this, right? Acceleration. So V maximum is A omega. So he said both V max are equal. That means... Uh, V1 max is V2 max. So A1 omega 1 is equal to A2 omega 2. He's asking A1 by A2. A1 by A2 is omega 2 by omega 1. So what is omega? So already I have solved it. Omega I have given here. Under root K by M. Omega is equal to omega is equal to root K by M. So substitute it here. Under root K2 by M by under root k1 by m right or not so why same m he said masses are same masses are same m gets cancelled so a1 by a2 is under root k2 by k1 hope you understood this fifth one take screenshot if needed fifth question screenshot if needed right Good. So, fifth one, under root K2 by K1. So, they gave two options. Under root K1 by K2 as well as root K2 by K1. We got root K2 by K1. Next one, sixth one. The length of a simple pendulum executing simple harmonic motion is increased by 21%. The percentage increase in the time period of the pendulum. So, percentage change. So, easy. Again, this one is sixth time period is simple pendulum L by G. This is what we'll get. So L got increased by 120, uh, 21%. So 21 by 100 times L plus L. 
सो इट इज वन ट्वेंटी वन बाय हंड्रेड एल और वन पॉइंट टू वन एल सो टी डैश इज इक्वल टू टू बाय रूट वन पॉइंट टू वन एल बाय जी व्हिच इज टू बाय रूट एल बाय जी इनटू वन पॉइंट वन सी आई हैव आई हैव इंक्रीज लेंथ बाय ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट सो आई गोट वन पॉइंट टू वन सो वन पॉइंट वन सो दिस इज वन पॉइंट वन टाइम्स दिस इज वन पॉइंट वन टाइम्स टी सो व्हाट इज द परसेंटेज इंक्रीज सो एब्सोल्यूट इंक्रीज इज पॉइंट वन टी डेल्टा टी इज पॉइंट वन टी इफ आई डिवाइड बाय टी आई विल गेट पॉइंट वन व्हिच इज इक्वल टू टेन परसेंट सो परसेंटेज चेंज इज टेन परसेंट इट गोट इंक्रीज बाय टेन परसेंट गाइस सो सिक्स टू वन टेन परसेंट It is not eleven percent. It is ten percent. A body executes simple harmonic motion. The potential energy, the kinetic energy, and total energy are measured as function of displacement x. Which of the following statement is true? K is maximum and x is zero. Then uh, we have k is zero and x is zero. K x is zero is mean position, no? So at mean position, kinetic energy is maximum. When x is maximum, k becomes zero. So, kinetic energy is maximum when x is zero at mean position. Next one. The bob of a simple pendulum executes simple harmonic motion in water with a time period t. Well, the period of oscillation of the bob is t not in air. So, simple pendulum again two pi root l by g. We have to write as I said g effective. We have to write. Okay. um it is t not in the air neglecting frictional force of water and given that the density of bob is 4 by 3 into 1000 kg per meter cube what is the relation between t and t not wonderful question so it, it this is using uh, buoyancy we are doing this using buoyancy force eighth one so simple pendulum again what is t not 2 pi root l by g right actual length by g now what happens when you submerge A bob inside the water, so we have mg force as well as force of buoyancy Fb. So for g effective, so let us assume this is mg dash is the net g effective. So mg dash is mg minus force of buoyancy, guys. So what is mass volume into density of body into g dash is equal to again mass of the bob volume into density of bob into g dash. Sorry, into g. Or which is uh, G naught initial G naught minus force of buoyancy is volume into density of liquid into G into G naught. So volume of the body gets cancelled. Agreed. So G dash is equal to G naught into density of body minus density of liquid by density of body. I am writing rho. So this is the G dash. So new time when you Submerge this in liquid, right? So it is two pi root l by g dash. <coughs> Time period is two pi root l by g dash. What he gave? This is water. So density of liquid is equal to thousand kg per meter cube, and density of body he gave how much, guys? Four by three into thousand kg per meter cube. So T is equal to two pi under root L by G naught into G dash. The value I am writing. So density of body is how much? Four by three into thousand minus thousand by four by three into thousand. Right. So two pi root L by G naught is T naught. Two pi root this is T naught. So what we are left out is under root. फोर बाय थ्री इंटू थाउजेंड कम्स टू न्यूमरेटर ए जो नीचे है दट कम्स टू द न्यूमरेटर हियर इन सेट दट बाई फोर बाय थ्री माइनस वन थाउजेंड बाई थ्री थाउजेंड बाई थ्री फोर बाय थ्री माइनस वन नो थाउजेंड बाई थ्री सो थाउजेंड एंड थ्री गेट्स कैंसल वी गेट टू टी नॉट सो दट न्यू टाइम पीरियड इज नथिंग बट टू टी नॉट गुड क्वेश्चन गाइज वी आर यूजिंग Buoyancy force, fluid statics in SHM, simple harmonic motion. Let us see. Please don't underline whatever is there. 
can you undo that whoever has written that guys so any questions so answer is c tooty not any questions from anyone guys calculation okay i'll recap that got it sir so if you have any question let me know so calculation again when i am doing so normally time period is 2 pi root l by g not thanks for taking that off time period is 2 pi root l by g dash time period is 2, 2 pi root this is g effective so why this is changing when we are immersing the ball inside the water inside the water g effective is changing so how is it changing so there is weight mg downwards and force of buoyancy fb upwards so net downward force is mg minus force of buoyancy so what is mg dash volume of the body into density of the body into g dash this is the g effective which is equal to volume of body density of body into g not this is the actual weight minus force of buoyancy buoyancy force is v into volume into density of liquid into g not right now what i have done v gets cancelled i have taken g not common and this density of body goes to the denominator g dash is g not into density of body minus density of liquid by density of the body this is the g dash value i have substituted that here if you want you can calculate here g not into density of body he gave 4000 by 3 minus density of liquid density of water is 1000 no by 4000 by 3 if you do the calculation g not into it is 1000 by 3 by 4000 by 3 so this becomes reverse 3 gets cancel this becomes so g not by 4 g effective is nothing but g not by 4 so that is what we got finally for here so you can also write here t dash is equal to 2 pi root under root l by g not by 4 four score 4 goes to the numerator so under root 4 is 2 and the rest all is t not two t not so if you substitute here and do or like this it is the same take the screenshot guys eighth question eighth question take the, are who is that doing this underlining job don't do that is it me i don't think so man for oh it is trying to call that huh? please don't underline it because others will be taking the screenshot right i don't know how you are doing that but Able to understand with Mr. Nice times one others wonderful. Really good that I'm teaching you people. You should also get decent students who can understand it well. So in that way we are lucky that we got you people. The next question. Um, we are done with this. Uh, T is two T not right C. And we got running time right. so conceptual let's do 10th one the total energy of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is if you say kinetic energy that changes with with x potential energy half k x square so potential energy is proportional to x square kinetic energy is also proportional to x square but total energy is constant is independent of x this is conceptual one total energy is independent of x Fourteenth question. Give a try with fourteenth question. He gave two simple harmonic motions are represented by y one is point one sine hundred pi t plus pi by three and y two is point one cos pi t. What is the phase difference of the velocity? He is asking the phase difference of the velocity. That's question number fourteenth. 
question number 14 please don't mark anything if it is me that is okay so y1 is uh point 1 sin how much 100 pi t plus pi by 3 and y2 is how much 0.1 cos pi t let me cross check it 0.1 0.1 sin 100 pi t plus pi by 3 right so now how to get the velocity d1 is equal to dy1 by dt dy1 by dt differentiate this 0.1 so inside constant differential is zero we have this so we get 100 pi 100 pi t differential is 100 pi sin becomes cos cos 100 pi t plus pi by 3 that is the differential of this v2 is dy2 by dt v2 is dy2 by dt 0.1 remains same pi comes out of the integral cos becomes minus sin pi t cos becomes sin only no so sin pi t do you have any minus sign there minus 1 cos pi t is it minus minus sign or sign guys differential of cos let me see Minus sine, minus sine of this. So this is minus sine, right? Okay. Now, so to compare, either you have to keep both in cos or both in sine. Either way, you have to do. Either both in sine or both in cos. So that is already in cos. This minus sine, if I take inside, so minus sine theta. How can I write minus sine theta? Point one pi minus sine theta. I can write. Cos of uh, theta, which is pi t plus pi by two, right? Cos pi pi t plus pi by two is minus sine theta. I mean, cos pi by two plus uh, pi t. It is like uh, second quadrant. It cos goes to negative, right? So yeah. So if you compare the values inside, so these frequencies are different. That is fine. But phase, if you see, this is pi by three. This is pi by two. One is pi by three, other is pi by two. Pi by three means sixty degrees. Pi by two means ninety degrees. So what is the difference? So delta theta not is equal to thirty degrees. Thirty degrees. What is the answer? Fourteenth one. Thirty means how much? Ah, uh, he's asking. Okay, what is the difference? We got thirty. Is it plus thirty or minus thirty? Okay, one with the velocity of the particle two, one with two. So one minus two, one is how much? So sixty minus ninety. So minus thirty. We are getting minus thirty. So this is actual value, but he is asking with sine uh, minus pi by six. So when we are getting this tie again, I am cross checking what is right and wrong, right? Mm, there are more questions, but we have less time. We have to cover even waves, and uh, I don't think thermodynamics can be done. We'll do till waves. Next session, we'll see thermodynamics, or if I can, I'll do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> So any other question you want to choose? Right, minus pi by six. Prana, right? Ram Nathan, right? Absolutely. Shiva Gomati, Vishwa Jasmine, right? Fourteenth again. Just a second. I'll show. Solution or the question is here, and this is the solution. What is this? Yeah. If you want both of them equally. Fourteenth question and solution. I guess this system of you know paper and solution side by side is easy for us to work on. Uh, 
right next one mm, waves let us do waves uh just go through it first tube a has both ends open while tube b has one end closed so this is waves guys the same some color okay waves question number 1 so there is tube a both sides it is open and tube b only one side it is open so this side it is closed is tube a and tube b then what is that he gave otherwise they are identical so same length the ratio of fundamental frequency of a to b so fundamental frequency of both so this type of question guys how to solve i'll just explain you so lengths are same velocity of sound is same velocity of sound is v not now if you see here for a fundamental this open end should be anti node open should be anti node so it should be something like this this is the fundamental when it is a closed one this end should be node and this should be anti node so this should be the fundamental for this so here i can write this length is how much you see the wave lambda by 2 so in the first case lambda of a by 2 is equal to l and here lambda of b by 4 is equal to l this part is lambda by 4 this part is lambda by 2 so lambda of a is 2l lambda of b is 4l so what is fundamental frequency <clears throat> so fundamental frequency of new a is equal to velocity of sound by lambda in a fundamental frequency of b is velocity of sound which is v not by lambda of b so v not by lambda of a is how much 2l and this one is v not by 4l so what is the relation <clears throat> frequency of a is two times frequency of b frequency of a is two times frequency of b this is called organ pipes experiments also we have this is open tube this is closed tube any doubts in this <coughs> so let me check do you have the answer so 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 option c let me see how many got it right excuse me akshini uh, what is it ma are you able to understand or not so you are not able to understand that akshini oh okay. so i'll repeat it so in sound we have this organ pipes also we have strings so strings means this is equivalent to open end so if there are two rods there are rings here and here and a string attached to this so it is same as this and similarly this one is one end is tied other end is ringed this is one side closed one side open this is both sides open so when you take a tuning fork when you take a tuning fork and oscillate it or you hit on something and oscillate it then we have frequency waves right this is the fundamental wave the first wave which can fit into this is the called fundamental wave so for a fundamental wave this will be anti node this will be anti node node will be somewhere at the center so anti node this way anti node this way node here here anti node anti node and node so length l length l so l is equal to lambda a by 2 here length is lambda b by 4 because this length so if you take lambda uh, if you want to say lambda this is the complete lambda okay in the first case we are taking from here to here this is a but for b we are taking from here to here this is b so this value this length is lambda by 4 this length is lambda by 2 so length of the pipe is equal to lambda a by 2 and length of the pipe here uh, l which is l is lambda b by 4 so from that lambda of a is 2 went here 2l lambda of b is 4 so 
frequency is velocity by lambda frequency is velocity by lambda sound frequency sound velocity is same in respect of a and b it is air so frequency is the same both are same by lambda a which is 2l by lambda b which is 4l then i took the ratio nu a by nu b is equal to v not by 2l by v not by 4l v not v not ll 4 by 2 which is 2 Still, you are not able to understand. That means you have to go back to your first year uh, sound chapter or whichever chapter it is now and check it. Check the concept. Right? I just please take the screenshot, guys. Understood. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, another question and answer. So, what is it? Sir, please send whole in WhatsApp group. What is that whole, ma'am? You mean solutions or solutions will be sent, not the question document. Okay. Next question. <coughs> A tuning fork, <coughs> excuse me, uh, arrangement pair produce four beats with one fork of frequency 288. A little wax is placed on the unknown fork and is then produced two bits. In the frequency of the unknown fork is. Okay. Mm, tuning fork for this. One is 288. So, second question. One tuning fork is 288. Other tuning fork is unknown. They are producing four. The difference between them is four. So, X can be either 288 plus 4 or 288 minus 4. How much is it? 292 or 284. Both the options are there. Two, sorry, 284 is not there. Then 292. See that straight away can tell 292 because that option is not there. Right? Uh, sorry, guys. Right. So here, one is 292, other is, again, somebody started marking 284. So when you wax the unknown one, so when you wax the unknown one, what happens? When you wax it, frequency, waxing and vanning, we say, when you do waxing, Frequency will decrease. It becomes heavier. No, it decreases. So, when the frequency decreases, the difference, he said, if it is 292, if it is 292, then 292 can decrease, right? 284 will also decrease. If a wax, if it is 292, the frequency decreases, 284 also frequency decreases. But if it is 284, then uh, the beat frequency will be more than uh, 4, right? So, 284 will further decrease. And that delta F will be more than 4. So, the answer is 292. Answer is 292. So, 292 becomes 290 and the difference becomes 2. He said the difference is how much? 2. 2 bits. A little wax is placed on the unknown fork and it then produces 2 bits. So, what is the frequency of the unknown four guys? 292. So, answer is 292. <coughs> Third one. A wave y is equal to a sine k omega t minus kx on a string meets with another wave producing a node at x is 0. The equation of the unknown wave is. So, you have to see at x is equal to 0, it has to produce a node. Uh, 
when x is equal to 0. If I put x is equal to 0 in the first one, just producing a node or he should have given more. It has to produce a standing wave then so let us see uh, what is y value guys question number three y is equal to a sine omega t plus kx or minus kx minus kx first option is i am trying option a plus a sine omega t plus kx at x is equal to zero it should be node so at x is equal to zero y should be equal to zero so if i substitute at x is equal to zero what is that y we are getting y is equal to 2a sine omega t it is not zero this is not zero so option a is wrong or well, let us try option b y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx and uh, I'm so sorry. Minus A sine omega t plus kx. Minus A sine omega t plus kx. What is the expansion of this? How much do we get? So at x is equal to 0. Put x is equal to 0, we are getting A sine omega t minus a sine omega t we are getting zero so at x is equal to zero we are getting y is equal to zero so option b is right you can also try with c and d but already got the answer so i am not going further <coughs> i'm sorry actually <coughs> yeah <coughs> So length of a string, fourth question, length of a string tied to two rigid supports. There is a, there are two rigid supports. The length of the string is how much? 40 centimeters. What is the maximum length or wavelength in centimeters of a stationary wave produced on it? So if you remember for a fundamental, this is the fundamental. So for fundamental, lambda by 2 is equal to 40 or lambda is equal to 80. Then comes first harmonic. For first harmonic, we have this. In this case, lambda 1 is equal to 40. So on, as you go down, the lambda is decreasing or not? Lambda is decreasing. So what is the maximum lambda? 80 centimeters. As you go further, it will be this way and like this. So this is 3 lambda 2 by 2 is equal to 40 or lambda 2 is 80 by 3. So it is further smaller. So 80, 80 by 2, 80 by 3, so on and so forth is decreasing. So what is the answer? 80. Fourth one. Answer is 80. Clear so far? Let me see. Option D also we are getting zero. So let me check that once. But D also we are getting zero. Um, <laughs> option D is always zero. It is not SHM. You know, option D, it is like always, no, it is not SHM. No, every point. So this and this are getting cancelled. Everywhere it is zero. It is not an SHM. But we have to produce an SHM. No. Equation of the wave. So we have to produce a wave, another wave. When you add these two, this and D, total Y is getting zero, irrespective of any X. That is wrong. That is not a SHM or this is not a wave. So that is why people might go for D, that D always is zero. But for B, only at X is equal to zero, Y is zero. Otherwise, it is a wave. Is that clear? 
Tam na tak good good. Next one. Sixth question Meko. Or fifth when temperature increases, the frequency of tuning fork. So tuning fork ka jo length. Hai. So when you increase the temperature, the length of the tuning fork increases. So lambda increases. Is the tuning fork no? When you increase the temperature, this length increases. So when this length increases, basically when you have tuning fork, this is the node. This oscillates. This oscillates. So these are the anti nodes, and this is the node. So for fundamental, we get this as lambda by two, right? Anti node and anti node. So this is lambda by two. When the length increases, this length temperature. This length increases. So this length increases. When lambda increases, frequency decreases. Right? Frequency decreases. Option B. So when temperature increases, length of the tuning fork increase, increases. So uh, frequency decreases. Hope you understood this. Sixth question. The displacement y of a wave traveling in x direction is given by. So he gave the y value. But x is expressed in meters and t in seconds. The speed of the wave. So, what is the speed of the wave? Do it. So, speed is omega by k. There are two velocities, particle velocity and uh, wave velocity. So, I'll just write it. Y is equal to sixth one. Y is equal to 10 power minus 4 sine. 600t minus 2x plus 3 meters. dy by dt is equal to particle speed. Wave speed is equal to omega by k. So this is omega. This is k. Omega t minus kx, no? So omega is 600 by k is 2. So, 300 meter per second. What is the wave velocity? 300 meter per second. Option A. Is this clear? They gave an equation. If they ask you what is the particle velocity, this velocity. So, maximum particle velocity. Maximum particle velocity is A omega. That is 10 power minus 4 into 600 meter per second. That is A omega. Maximum velocity. But he has wave velocity, not the particle velocity. Hope you understood. Right, you are right, Arjun. Sixth is clear. Seventh one, the displacement of a particle is x is equal to 4 cos pi t plus sin pi t. What is the amplitude? So in math, we have to, you know, sin and cos, we should have sin 45, cos 45. So what I will do, I will multiply by root 2 and divide by root 2. So this is 1 by root 2 cos pi t plus 1 by root 2 sin pi t. I multiply and divide by this. So 4 root 2. 1 by root 2 can be written as sin pi by 4 cos pi t plus uh, cos pi by 4 sin pi t. The sin of a plus b, 4 root 2 sin of pi t plus pi by 4. So 4 root 2 is the amplitude. Simple mathematical operation here, nothing much. We understood this. Clear? In maths, you might have done this already. 4 root 2, right, Kartik? Right. Wonderful. This is about 7th one. Mm -hmm. 10th one, now you can do it easily. What is 10th one? The displacement of particle in a medium. 
is given sin pi 100t plus 20x plus pi by 4. And the speed of the omega by k. What is omega? 100. K is how much? 20. So 5. The 10th one, 5. Easy now. Fourteenth question. Give it a try. Oh, the sound absorbed. It means the sound like that the intensity is a factor. We are traveling along x-axis. Full do twelfth or this one. Where is this? Full do twelfth. An observer moves towards a stationary source. Twelfth one. There is a source which is at rest. There is an observer who is moving towards rest. With velocity one fifth the velocity of sound. V naught is velocity of sound. V of sound. Is going by V naught by 5, one fifth of the velocity of sound. What is the percentage increase in the apparent frequency? Percentage increase in the apparent frequency. It got too big, I guess. Oh, shit. I cannot decrease this. Okay, it began this big. Or have I been writing that? Okay. It's not that big. Okay. Now, mm, we have this uh, Doppler's effect. F dash is F naught into velocity of sound, right? Plus velocity of the uh, observer by velocity of uh, this will write sound, okay? Sound. This is plus or minus, plus or minus velocity of source. Source is in the numerator, observer is in the numerator. So F dash is equal to F naught into Velocity of sound we took it as V0 and velocity of observer is how much? V0 by 5. He's moving towards the source. So what he hears will be more. So I should write plus V0 by 5 by V0. Because velocity of source is 0. Velocity of source is 0. So F dash is F0 into 5 plus 1, 6 by 5. V0 gets cancelled. That is 6 by 5. So how much it got changed? Delta F is uh, F dash minus F naught. So 6 by 5 F naught minus F naught. So F naught by 5. Percentage increase. Percentage means delta F by F naught into 100. So F naught by 5 by F naught into 100. 20%. The percentage increase is how much? 20%. Is this clear? Doppler's effect? If we have the air also moving, if the wind wind velocity comes, we have to write plus or minus velocity of wind. So that depends. If wind is going from observe, a source to observer, we will put plus V wind velocity will be positive. If the wind is from observer to source, wind velocity is negative. Clear? Hope you understood this. The Doppler's effect also. 20%. Hey, Karthik, Sri Aditya, Ashni, Sri Aditya. Right, right, guys. Please don't mind. I have to, you know, move from there to here. So I might miss your messages and all in between. Yeah. Next one. Uh, 20%. So we have this thermodynamics. Let us do this. Heat and thermodynamics. Let us do few therm one or two thermodynamics. I guess even that will be recapped. Just a second. If I get a call, the problem is like... Right. <sighs> Sixth question. Let us do sixth question. 
one mole of gas with gamma is 7 by 5 is mixed with one mole of gas with gamma is 5 by 3. The value of gamma of the mixture, resulting mixture is. So basically, uh, this is question number. Uh, question Because others are conceptual, so I don't want it to. So N1 is equal to 1 mole and gamma 1 is equal to 7 by 5. And 2 is equal to 1 mole and gamma is equal to 5 by 3. So we have gamma of mixture. How to find out gamma of mixture? So we cannot just write gamma mixture n1 gamma 1 plus n. We cannot do like that. So uh, for finding out gamma of mixture, n total by gamma of mixture minus 1 is uh, n1 by gamma 1 minus 1 plus n2 by gamma 2 minus 1 is the relation which we have to use to find the gamma of the mixture. N total is N1 plus N2. So how much is N total? N total is 2. 2 by gamma of mixture minus 1 is equal to N1. N1 is 1 by gamma 1 is 7 by 5 minus 1 plus N2 is 1 by gamma 2 is 5 by 3 minus 1. So it is 1 by 7 minus 5, 2 by 5. So 5 goes to numerator plus 5 minus 3, 2, 3 by 2 goes to the numerator, 5 plus 3, 8 by 2, which is 4. So, gamma of mixture minus 1 is 2 by 4, or 1 by 2. Gamma of mixture is 1 plus 1 by 2, right? How much is it? 3 by 2. We got 3 by 2. The options are, there is no 3 by 2. 7 by 5 is not 3 by 2. 24 by 16. 8 threes are 24 and this is 16. 8 twos are. Option C. Eighth question. Let us do eighth question. During an adiabatic process, the pressure of a gas, the pressure of a gas, uh, P, is found to be proportional to cube of its absolute temperature. Pressure proportional to T cube. Pressure is proportional to T cube. He said adia adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, P per gamma is constant. P per gamma is constant. We have to compare this. Pressure is proportional to T cube. So he is asking gamma, Cp by Cv. So you can replace temperature with volume, pressure and volume. So temperature I can put is asking that gamma. So instead of temperature, I have to put so PV is equal to NRT. I have to substitute instead of temperature PV. So I can write P is proportional to PV cube. Right? So this becomes, if this P comes that side, it is P square V cube is equal to constant. Or PV power 3 by 2 is constant if I square root both sides. So PV power 3 by 2 is constant. PV power gamma is constant. Gamma is 3 by 2, which is Cp by Cv. So I'm comparing this equation to this equation. So directly it is P and T. I know PV power gamma is constant. So I have changed it to PV power, right? So Cp by Cv is equal to 3 by 2. 3 by 2. Right. 17th question. <sighs> okay, time is up, I guess. So any questions till now? Understood. Uh, if you can take screenshot, right, you can do that as homework. So I'll just maximize this. Um, take a screen, screenshot, one screenshot of this. <coughs> right, done. Screenshot is done. Next page. Take a screenshot of this.
i hope it is done and this one extra so i'm just trying to give you the homework here only the remaining questions you can give a try now we'll also share the key with you Are done yeah this is the next part in the next session also we'll do few questions from this if possible this is the key this is the key for that so you can cross check the key whether you got the right answer or not got solutions too but uh, i guess you can take that no issues with me should i rotate it is it this fair or this one is fine i guess this is fine take this down for you to understand you can use this keep it for reference but don't go through the solutions first guys it is not going to help you i hope you have taken the screenshots is the homework for you which you have to do homework screenshots okay right